case from the cover, from the spirit water. As soon as you encounter your case in their cover, in their meeting, there is problem in your family. There is misunderstanding in your house. There is contention. Money disappear because they have carried your case. A demon has in charge of your case in the marine kingdom. As you are going to pray. A three demon of revenge. Hey, she got a three demon of revenge assigned against you and your family. You are going to pray, oh God, I command fire upon any demon or revenge on my case. That's the Bible mm -hmm. Any demon or revenge on my case, command fire upon the head of that demon. Oh, who you want to pray? we pray you are going to be maybe here you are if you speak anytime you speak you see yourself in the village or you see your grandfather your father that have died you see the spirit of the dead surrounding you anytime you dream the spirit of the dead coming coming to surround you what are you doing among the dead you are going to pray every spirit of graveyard monitoring you and your family every spirit of graveyard is it is at your house turn that spirit of the graveyard to go back to where you come every spirit of the graveyard any time you see this you are coming to me i am asking you what are you doing to return the spirit of the graveyard to ask the sender return the spirit back to the grave of the mother prayed every spirit of the graveyard after your prosperity every spirit of the graveyard after your health, oh command that spirit of the graveyard to return back to the grave. Oh, put your mouth down where you go. Magic power, using magic power in your life. What are you doing? We are using magic power. Spirit of the graveyard working against your health. And the spirit of the graveyard working against your household. Please, Bob, I brought you some of you that are not praying. I'm afraid of you. This is a prayer that will change the history of your life. This is a prayer that will change your foundation. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come off my shoulder and the youth shall be taken away from off my neck and the youth shall be destroyed. And that is the Almighty God. Let the nation be back. Let the whole world be blessed. in Jesus name we pray amen after this prayer tonight you will share your testimony Amen. Whatever has troubled you, whatever spirit they have assigned against you to monitor you and your family. Hey, power past power. The power of God enter. Hey, prayer. The Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I be? The Lord is the light of my life. Who shall I be afraid of? Enemies will make a mistake. They shall fall. Open your mouth and pray. When they come of your flesh, the Bible says they storm and they hope. They make mistakes. Now they are coming to the Pray. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to announce to you the Lord is our light and our salvation. Amen. Amen. Shall we the Lord is a, is a strength of our life. Who Amen. shall we be afraid of when our enemy are forced to up, up or eat up our flesh? The Bible says they stumble and they fall. Amen. Hey, every power from the covenant from any altar, from any shrine, assigned to eat up our flesh spiritually, to eat up our prosperity, to eat up our family, I throw them down in the name of Jesus. Amen. From tonight, all the attack on that brother was over there. There's somebody there right now, you have a serious pain on your waist. It's an attack, Amen. serious pain. Amen. If you even bend down, you feel the sharp pain. You see feel the sharp pain on your waist. That attack right now on that person just over there. I send a word of deliverance upon that person. I command all those attacks on your waist. Come out in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray whatever spare the place on any uh, anybody here, any daughter of any any daughter. 
of any of our participants. Your daughter mm -hmm. has to get married, but somebody put a spear upon, upon her life. And since that time, the lady finds it very difficult to settle down. I, I command a spear working against your daughter. Every power working against your daughter's settlement, marital life, maritally. I command that spear to be broken. I remove that spear out of her life. I command Amen. them. Jesus to speak on the behalf of your daughter to deliver your daughter right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoever the spirit of the graveyard is appearing to in, in his dream or uh, on a dream, anytime you sleep like this, you see dead people coming coming around you in your dream, dead people appearing to you in your dream, or you see yourself in the village. Any power that wants to bring you to the village, any power that will bring you back to, to, to poverty, any power mm -hmm. spirit from the grave. I command every great spirit to return back to the grave in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every monitor demo, every revenge demo, aside for the crime your ancestor committed, I don't want to revenge upon mm -hmm. your life. The Bible says, Shall they play? He take it from the mighty or the local captain be delivered for those yet the law. Even the captain of the mighty shall be taken away and the place of the people shall be delivered. Such people, I command complete deliverance into your life from every revenge of any demon and sin against your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As the month is ending tomorrow, as we start a new month on Saturday, I uh -huh. pray for somebody online right now. There will be a connection in your life. Amen. That deliverance in your life. That Amen. mother in law over here, that, that your mother in law that is troubling you, disturbing you, and all that. And since your mother in law stepped into that case, there's this. Spot them in that family. I command that fire from the pit of hell. I quench that fire right now. Call me from your mother in law side. I command that that fire to quench in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them experience a rapid peace in every heart, in every home. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank in you, Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The olden day, there is something that is very common, and that's the rearing of the animal. It was very common in the uh, family of Joseph, um, Jacob, and then the family of uh, uh, David, the GC. I, I think if I pronounce it very well, please bear with me. And then they never thought that any other thing that can be done to them, they are satisfied with it. And then you will see Jacob very happy that the children, they have taken the animals uh, for rearing. And then the same thing in the life of Jacob. But when God wants to do it, you know, God is a God of motion. And by the mm. power and the blood of Jesus Christ is going to promote every one of us here in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. People, yes, in their family, they are nurses. But they never thought somebody is um, go over uh, that thought and become a doctor. So that they can establish a hospital and employ and employ nurses. Uh, there are some people, they are businessmen, they are okay. They are in that level, and they are buying and selling. But they never thought somebody can be a manufacturer. And you can see the case of the, uh, some of the richest man in the African, in our country. Uh, when you look at the family they, they come from, they are buying and selling. But when God wants to do it, he, he is not a producer, manufacturer. We now call upon the name of the Lord. The stagnant are... Uh, Area of my family. Why by the never thought as far we are in that area. Oh, my father is a teacher, and I am a teacher. Uh, after medicine and teaching, I'm okay. Even if my father is BS in teaching, but there's still another place ahead. Why by you can start this school and you become uh, a professor? You get what I'm saying? 
We now call upon the name of the Lord. In all areas where my family have been stagnant and there's promotion, you that you take Joseph out, out of his family to become a governor. You take David out, out of his family to become a king. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. This evening, remember me, remember my children Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your mouth and call upon the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Is enough. to become a governor, all what we know that is the variety of animal, which you know as a farmer, but the farmer in the blood of Jesus Christ, the time has come. Take me out of our out of this pregnancy in the family in the name of Jesus Christ. Take me out of out of this pregnancy. The family in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what they know our family. This is what my father has been doing. This is what my mother has been doing. I am in the same way, and as far as I'm able to take care of his children, it's okay. But there's a place in the higher place. There's a place in the higher place. There's a place of God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Remember me, remember my children. Remember me, remember my children. Go to higher place. Oh, it is my 
Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Please listen to me as I round up this prayer. Listen very well. Don't miss this hour. Don't miss this time. There was a famine in the days of David. Three years. Year after year. Yes, yes, yes. And, and David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord answered David, it is for Saul and for his, his bloody house, because mm. he slay the Gidomites. Mm. David was in the throne. Saul committed a crime. When David came, mm. and that crime he committed affected David's throne. Mm. And David prayed, and God said, it's because of Saul. That's why they have it all that... Um, um, farming for three good years. When David inquired, David asked, What shall we do? They're not going to make a peace with these Gideonites. They say, No. They say, they say, They don't want to sleep and go. But they say, There is seven men from the house of Saul that is there to hang you. Hey, hey, my hey, hey, hey. There is no mm. time now. Maybe next time I will deal on that. But my prayer for somebody online. Whatever your ancestors have committed, mm -hmm. and then the adventure of blood, they are okay. now avenging that in your life and in your family. Tonight, oh. I decree the Amen. blood of Jesus silent there. Amen. 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 Of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every adventure mm -hmm. of blood. For the sea, for the crime, you do not know, and they are avenging. Hey, mm. I pray the blood of Jesus will silence them in your family. Amen. Amen. The of the blood, whatever battle you are experiencing in your home right now, and you don't know what happened. Hey, mm. I pray the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Voice to so silence every strange powers. To silent avengers of blood in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. From tonight, Amen. I pray by faith and I pray for you and your family. You will not experience dryness. Amen. Amen. You will not experience, you will never experience bad luck. Amen. Amen. Every plot, every plan, every strategy, every every program, they are programmed because of the crap of, of your ancestors, and that thing is repeating and is abandoning in your household. But the efficacy of the problem of Jesus has diverted away. Amen. Tonight, I release every one of you right now Amen. as you will sleep tonight. No bad dream in your life. Amen. Amen. Peace of peace will visit you tonight. Amen. I pray for every family represented here, your children, your son, your daughter. May God Amen. be with them. Amen. May God protect them. Amen. May God give them their desire. Amen. May God peace work for them and Amen. also do great in their life. And for Amen. those who are expecting who have not get married. You are looking for the will of God in marriage. May they not connect you to the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. May the Lord say to you this very year. May God connect you to your husband. May God connect you to your wife. I decree henceforth you will be established and you will have settlement in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that all the calamity is be taken away. From today, you will, from today, you will rejoice. Amen. Amen. Sister, fear not. That is over there. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. God is going to set to your children for you. Amen. Amen. Don't, be Amen. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Have faith in God. Everything will work for your good and you will have perfection. Thank Amen. you, Father. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace together. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 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 the love of God, and the fellowship of the be with us surely uh, it's when you are approving people, let's look at their name. It's better you don't approve person than approve person that will disturb us. God will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Yes, sir. Good night, man. Good night, sir. Praise the Lord. If you're expecting something, I said, Praise the Lord. Revival time. Miracle time. Power time. And it's coming up on your life. What are you doing? Father, in Jesus' name. We well, thank, thank you because we know you are going to do one last in every life today. Your, your promises, promises are yes and amen. amen. And, and we, we know that you are going to fulfill your promises. Lord, we pray you open the windows of heaven. Pour down your blessings upon everyone in Jesus' name. Nobody will go back home empty-handed. Feel every vessel. Touch every life. Heal every sickness. Deliver the oppressed. Do wonders in every life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're coming to Hebrews chapter 6. And I'm reading from verse 12. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. 
Hear the spirit of the Lord through the apostles counseling us, commanding us, directing us, and instructing us that in prayer we should not be slothful. In seeking the face of the Lord, we should not be slothful. We should not be following the path of ease and the path of relaxation. It says we should be up and doing. There's a God in heaven who answers prayer. And it says we must not be slothful in prayer. There is a God in heaven who looks at us as we grip.